so look at this big crack that we have here we have this major crack in the drywall right here and if you look it goes miles down here the ceiling goes from all the way down here to all the way down to where that door is past that stuff so it's way down there i mean this is miles of of uh of ceiling that's not connected you see these little bitty dips and, and lines and things like that that's because the ceiling is moving constantly and it's so big it's just doing this over the over the year and uh i came down here to look at this and i was like i walked down here I got distracted, I didn't look up, and I walked in here, and then I walked over here, and I started thinking, man, this is a mile long. Where's the crack in the ceiling? And I'm looking for the crack in the ceiling, and they go, oh, it's right here. This is where the crack is. Because there, I knew there had to be one, at least one crack in the ceiling. My hat goes off to the drywall guys who did this. I think they did a phenomenal job. I did not do the drywall in this basement when it was done, but I think it was a really, really good job uh, because they only do have one crack in the ceiling. So um, it, it will never go away, not without a control joint. And you've heard me talk about control joints before. I do have a video where I put the control joints in on a plaster job. This happens to be drywall. It's gonna be much easier. And I've done, well, you know what? Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about a control joint upstairs and then we're going to show this video on how we're doing this one down here. When I did this job up here, all I did was tape and finish the ceiling in the kitchen. But again, the distance that this walls are going from that far wall of the house to this far wall of the house was huge. And from that wall way over there, to this wall way over here was huge. So I told the owners, I said, listen, I can tape and finish this, but I, I guarantee you it's gonna crack. And they had already had cracks in their ceiling. You see them over here? This had already cracked out. Now, I didn't tape these after I put the control joint in. I left them alone, um, but this is what would have happened, you know, if these control joints weren't here. So I did put the control joints in. I'm right now coming back to fix the old cracks. These cracks were here and I'm coming here to fix them. I did notice that, that this popped a little bit. Uh, and understand, I did this five years ago. This isn't something I just did. I did it five years ago. Everything has held out really well. I put a control joint across here because just to break this up so this wouldn't crack. I put one here right there so this wouldn't crack again weak point weak point uh i'm okay here because i've got this this is moving this is okay i had the old crack here i think this will be okay when i tape this i don't think this crack is going to come back even though this is a weak point and then i also put one if you can take the camera down and look going into the stairwell there's an, also a control joint there, so that doesn't crack either. So I've put a number of control joints in the ceiling to save it so it doesn't crack out, so it doesn't get all wavy and everything else. And, uh, and the owner said, at first, they didn't like it. They didn't like it at all. But now it actually became like artwork on the ceiling, and, it, and it's nice. It's really nice. I, I love to tell people, you can either have a controlled crack in your ceiling or a crack in your ceiling. Now, let me ask you this question. Does this crack look like it belongs here? Of course not. Does that? Absolutely. That looks like it belongs here. This does not. So what we're trying to do is get rid of the cracks that don't belong and put a crack that does. But now that I have that, I have my initial line. Now, understand, these two corners are not lining up with each other. If they were gonna line up with each other, this wall would be out to here and I would go straight across. But what I don't like to do is come straight across over here or go straight across over here like this. Um, because if I did that, if I just brought this straight across over here like this, this is still a weak point in the drywall. 
And if I take this, brought my control joint here, and this started moving, especially with this crack here, I've got a chance of this cracking again here. Even though, even though this now can move, but all of a sudden, this can move. So I've got a chance of this cracking, and vice versa. If I came, if I came straight across here and did that, now this is moving, and this is moving. This is a weak point in the, in the drywall because this has been cut around this, this corner here. Again, this, there's a possibility that this is gonna crack right over to the control joint some way, somehow. So what I like to do is go to the two weakest points. This is a weak point and that's a weak point. And that's where our control joint's going in. So I made that one line to the outside of this corner. I'm gonna make my other line to the inside and I'm just gonna use my level. I'm just gonna stick my level up here. I'm gonna say, hey, this is about a half inch. That's about a half inch. And, uh, ooh, that's rocking. Ooh, that's a really rocking. Hey, it, uh, it uh, level's rocking. Don't come a knocking. Right? And now, I'm gonna mark this. I don't know if you can see that well or not, but I've got the pencil mark. That's plenty big enough to get the control joint in there. Now we're just gonna cut out that section of drywall. We've gone at an angle. If I have to put some backers in there to hold this straight, I will, to hold this up, I will do that. Uh, but once I cut this out and I put the control joint, I will be able to tape and finish that crack and tape and finish that crack and it should not come back. This is ready to go. I'd like to, if you can, just shoot up inside here so you can take a look. Maybe I'll take this light and try to show people what it looks like up inside of here really closely. You see how it's, it's, it's a nice gap in here. This is the studs. These are the, this is the wood here, wood here. That's the wood, that's the wood. So this is solid, Every, nothing's moving here. Everything's very solid. It's, it's working out really, really well. And, uh, and and understand this, if the, if the floor joists were running this direction and not this direction, um, it looks like they must have something doing something. I, I don't know exactly what, but everything was running this way and we were all of a sudden in the middle of it, right in the middle of it, and we needed to put a control joint in, um, you're cutting out a big section. You're cutting out a big section of drywall. You're putting some framing in and then putting the drywall back so it's it's solid. So this is all nice and solid. The re what I want to talk about was the old seam. Remember that old seam that came across here? See how that cracked? You can see the crack right there where the seam was. And again, like I said before, these tapers did a really good job. I don't have any cracks anywhere. They did a really good job with this. So the only reason this cracked is because of the distance, the distance that the drywall had to carry. It was never gonna make it. Um, but you hear me talking about V'ing something out. I gotta V out the, the crack. I gotta, I gotta V this, this thing out. Gotta V that thing out. And what I mean by that is I took my razor knife and I cut on an angle like this into that, okay? And I've already done that. I V'd this out already. And so I did it this way once, and now I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do it again this direction. And I'm gonna V that out, just, just to get a little kind of V cut in here. Look at the V. So everything is kind of V'd. So I've cut this out as a V too, so the mud can get up in there. This is cut out at a V, so this is gonna go in here too. Uh, now that this is... Messed up, I'm hoping it's okay. Need this okay. So this is my piece that goes in here. And, and if you remember from the old video, this is tear away. So once this gets all finished and done, these two tabs right here, they just peel off. They peel off and it's relatively flat and straight like we had upstairs. So that's, I wanted you to take a look at it just to say, oh, okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. 
this doesn't have to be perfect. And it's got to be straight because this is going to go in here straight. And so now I'm about to set this in is what I'm going to do. And if you notice this too, watch this. This is half inch drywall. That wood is a half inch set. But look at this little tab here. Isn't even close to a half inch. It's only at the most, it's three eighths at the most. It's more like a quarter of an inch, this little V here. So you got plenty of room. You got plenty of room to put this on with half inch drywall. If this was five eighths, you'd use the same stuff. It's always, it's always the same stuff. I just, I staple it. I just staple it. A lot of guys will like to use spray glue. The reason I'm stapling it is because I don't want spray glue on the floor here. This is a finished spot, finished area. So, and so uh, I'm just gonna staple this down and then I'm gonna mud it in. It, it's, it will work. It's going to work. I've got a little bit of stuff that's popped upstairs. They must have had extensive movement when that wood was shrinking and everything was settling in five years ago. But it's just going to be a really, really easy fix. I just got to scrape out the loose, staple it down a little bit better, and mud it back in. It'll be no problem. So I'm going to go ahead and get this ready to start mudding in. Uh, you won't see any more. You won't see any more videos on this particular. Uh, uh, control joint or expansion joint because we have an, an, an entire video that that covers all of that but here this was drywall the other one was plaster this one was much easier to put in than the other one because we really had to do a lot of cutting and we had a lot of plaster break off so so this is more of a typical control joint than the other one the other one was a little harder so you guys have a good day hey if you really like this video subscribe and if you really really like this video share it with somebody else you have a great day